Hi everyone, my name is Kate. Welcome back to another video. I have my Hilda book here because I thought for today's painting I would look back at one of my favourite shows, especially the animation and art style, um, and I would get some inspiration. There are so many interesting characters and features in the show Hilda, and if you haven't watched it, I seriously recommend it's on Netflix, there's two seasons now, and I naturally discovered that my favourite character is the giant Jorgen, because he shows up pretty early in the show and he's so cute to me, so I googled to try and find a really good pose or reference image. Um, at first I thought I could do one of him maybe holding Hilda in his hand, because uh, he's that giant but I found this picture of him that is actually shown in a book so Hilda finds a book about giants and it has a little illustration on it and I thought I really liked him sat on top of the mountain looking up at the sky so that is the image I chose um, so here I am thinking about it but yeah I wanted to do more of a close-up of him so less of the mountain would be shown in my picture. So yeah, I just sketched out what I saw um, and I was really looking forward to uh, being able to paint it in a, like a night image because in the show basically the giants take turns sitting on top of the highest mountain and looking out at the stars to make sure that nothing dangerous uh, is coming. They're basically standing and watch uh, and they take turns, you know, watching for the safety of the rest of the giants. I thought that was really sweet, so I wanted to paint him like this and I would paint it as a nighttime image because we first meet Jorgen at night and I just thought it was really cute that he sits and stares at the stars for like a thousand years. <laughs> um, so I was already thinking about another painting I wanted to do while I was doing this one. Basically, Jorgen is, not to, I'm not spoiling the entire episode, but he's looking for another giant. Uh, there's quite a few that get shown in the show, but um, the one that he's looking for, I really like her design too. Um, so I might paint her next. I'm not sure if I want to do it as uh, digital or more traditional. This was also my first time using my new gouache paints. I finally got those big uh, packet of gouache that everyone seems to have. I'm a bit late to the game, but I had my Arteza gouache that I was working with and I do still use those, but I found that the lids of the tubes with the Arteza gouache get stuck to the tube really easily when the paint dries and I have trouble getting the lids off and if I twist too hard then the tube rips and the paint is like everywhere. It's <laughs> it's happened more than once so I really liked the idea of just having them in little pots where I can take the lid off have better access, not make so much of a mess, not having to worry about um, like the tubes ripping off. Um, and then the pair game because it's going to dry out. But yeah, uh, one of the colours that came with this gouache was a dark blue, like so dark that you could use it as a black, but then the more water you add, the more the blue comes out, which is what I'm doing here to create the gradient for the night sky. So I want it darker at the top where the stars will make an appearance and then it's getting lighter and lighter as it goes down. Um, and because of like this nighttime set scene, I kind of went a more cartoonish uh, style with the mountain as well. I think I decided that the mountain should be a really dark purple because that is how they're depicted in the show. Um, at night, all the mountains are like different shades of like dusty and dark purples. So I wanted to stay true to that. Um, I also, <laughs> I'm using these brushes, technically they're new 
for me I actually got one for Christmas but I have this bad habit of if something's like new and pristine I don't want to ruin that and I'm, I'm getting better I'm just uh, you know I'm taking my time and being like hey it's it's there to be used uh, so that's why you might not have seen these brushes that I have had them for a while but I'm finally using them and uh, I'm now using one of the much smaller rounded pointed watercolour brushes to get into the edges um, making sure not to go over any of the lines that I'd sketched out around the giant um, but just trying to blend in the night sky gradient uh, as much as possible and yeah I really enjoyed these new gouache pens also I've heard people say gouache um, but <laughs> I don't know which one's right so I'm just going to continue to say wash. If it's something else that's fair, I'll probably just keep saying wash. Um, so yeah I just I think I went back in with an actual black for the top just to make it that little bit darker so that when I draw the stars they'll kind of pop out more. Oh yeah and here I am trying not to mix the colours up because they're brand new and I know what I just said but I don't want to ruin them by getting all the colours mixed and mucky together. So I do use a palette knife when necessary. Um, and yeah, uh, Jorgen is just this really nice soft grey colour and his eyes are just two bright dots that stand out uh, quite, uh, he's quite magical. It's just, I think the trouble was I didn't want him to blend in too much with the background because he's a grey. Uh, um, but I also wanted to show depth of like his the arm that's in the foreground versus the one behind him with like putting a darker grey behind him without it being so dark that it blends in with the sky. Oh, and there I am getting it. So yeah, basically Hilda is about a young girl who has grown up in the wilderness and it's set in a world that has all these amazing creatures like giants. Um, but then she has to, like her mum wants to move back to the city and you realise that she's been brought up quite differently to normal kids um, but she's not ready to give up uh, learning about all these mystical creatures being an adventurer so I really enjoy the show because it kind of makes you feel like a little kid again um, and I would have loved to have used the Hilda soundtrack as the music for this video but I was worried about copyright but even if you don't want to watch the show just look up the soundtrack it's so fun <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it it's fun and it's just it puts a smile on your face um, and it makes you feel like you're on an adventure so yeah definitely listen to the soundtrack even if you don't have time to watch the show on Netflix uh, and it's actually based on graphic novels as well so I might have to put them on my Christmas list or something but at the same time I don't want to ruin the plot for the show because I am <laughs> so here I am getting the purple ready for the mountain. I think I mixed a bit of brown in with it to just make it darker and more, I don't know, more like, uh, more, more like a rock colour even though it does have the hint of purple from being at night. I'm really happy with how almost messy and inky the sky looks like. I'm perfectly fine with it not being you know a nice smooth gradient. I wanted it to have a bit of texture. I wanted it to seem like, I did want it to seem more painted uh, in style rather than realistic. Um, same way I'm fine with a mountain being purple 
Uh, maybe the path should have been a bit darker if it was going to be realistic, but again, I just really like the style of it. It doesn't have to be perfect like, when it comes to like, the realism of it. Um, and I'm just keep. I actually painted the white paper white again to keep the texture uh, similar because he is sat on a snow topped mountain, but I didn't want to have it just. And now it's time for the final details. Oh, <laughs> I took a quick pic for Instagram. Um, if you want to see all the paintings that I do, um, do follow me on Instagram because even if I don't have time uh, to film it or if it like would be too quick to be a video, I post almost everything I do on Instagram. Uh, links in the bio or Twitter if you prefer. But yeah, I do post everything. And I'm just using my white gel pen and my black ink pen to add, add in the details now. His uh, his eyes are glowing white, but he has a little nose, and then the outline of his limbs will go in with black ink. And I'll use the same white gel pen that I used for his eyes to put in the stars in the sky as well. Um, I didn't want to absolutely get to the sky with stars, I just wanted to. Uh, the few that I did have to kind of pop and make it look a bit more magical. And I used the same black ink pen that I used for the details on Jorgen to also add the details to the mountain. I painted the entire piece on a glued watercolour block so that the paper wouldn't curve um, as I was using it because sometimes I don't have the best of luck when taking tape off the edges um, without it ripping like I've unfortunately ripped a few but it worked out quite well and I really hope you enjoyed it thank you for joining me um, and yeah be sure to see the final piece on my Instagram as well and look out for the next video so thanks guys and watch Hilda. <laughs>